They're always electric whenever they play each other. How many one or two goal games have these guys had, George? Five of eight. See, there you go. Yep, five of eight. It's been close all the way. Giovanni Morno back out for the Charlottetown Islanders. Let's hope that his health is uh, going to enable him to play the game that the way he loves to play. And a regular season game, I've grown close to Biggs the last couple years. Here's a coin the other way, stepping in, steps in, fires, five hole save made off that blocker side again. Quickly getting back to my point there, the 20-year-old, so much emotion here, and Biggs is going to play his heart out, as are the other five 20-year-olds. Here's Burbage through, center ice it in, there's Hood, steps in, fires a shot, scores! Hood lets the shot go, he scored last night, 30-plus of the season, holds up high here, and uh, creates a bit of a traffic snarl off in front. And I'm not sure it's an in-off or not, but Hood on the board and Cape Breton. Unlike last night, they're on the board first here tonight, one nothing. That's his 31st, and pretty much the same thing, right? You're coming down that right side, and then the aisles just give him the middle. He'll play it off the red line at center ice, broken back up again. Retooling now, the Islanders will bring it in, this time off that right side wall. There's Huckins inside, outside, snips it, lets the shot go. And that one down the goaltender was, but Malota will make the save. And here comes uh, Butler the other way, sneaks his way through the neutral zone, wide to the left side. Michaud tries to hit the trailer, coming off the right point. Voss with a shot, gets the goaltender spread apart, rebound, and it'll be Patterson, it'll pound it off. The right wing glass all the way back down again. Well, sometimes, George, all you need is a power play to spark the momentum. But nonetheless, Cape Breton's going to kill it off, and for them, that's big. Butler pries it loose off the mid wing, right side. Kiersey high off that right point. Dances by one, tries to get a shot through in uh, traffic. Back in, nets open, glove side. Goes right through the goaltender, out the back door. Tries to drive in, lays it right off in front. And Maruna tried to tap it home. Hits loose off in that stick side corner of the goaltender. Malota onside, back comes Squireser, check that back in, steps inside, made! Big time stop by Bickle, one on one, another shot, another kicks it, another shot, three in a row, I'll tell you what, hey, hey, what a play by the goaltender there, Bickle, one, two, three, denies all. That is exactly what you need, George, Carter Bickle coming up big. And the crowd filing in, another nice... Uh, Crowd for the Charlottetown Islanders all the way back now. Bounced off the end boards. Burbage perks it off in front. A bit of a leaker it looked like. And it slides right between the wickets of the goaltender wisely. Yeah, Bickle, he had to be sharp there, you know. I mean, he let that one go, right? Uh, the uh, linesman, he waved off the icing. Not sure if Bickle realized or not. He had the, the uh, arm up. He's got to develop his whole game here. And that being a 200-foot game, and he is really growing here for the Charlottetown Islanders. 100%. And another guy who played on Team Quebec. Okay, here's Butler. He's got a step to the goal. Score! A roper! Wicked wrister by Matty Butler! And the Isles tie it. My goodness, a goal scorer's goal. Far down, high glove side. It's not a that What a piece. Well, you and Corey Arsenal have been saying it all year long. You want to see Matty Butler shoot the puck more. He has 10 goals on the season. Make that 11. As far down, beauty, Matty Butler. Letting it fly here in Charlottetown. Rice, that pass beyond the reach of everybody. Springs off the end boards, looking for the man off in front. His Burbage, who is parked there. Coming late off the backside. Short haul with a shot. This one now. Crease crazy off in front. Another shot. This one drains wide. And here comes Ross Campbell. Doesn't get it deep. It'll be new come back for Cape Breton. Staley, here's going to be Campbell and the turnover to the goal. Rings it off the post. Oh, what a shot by Campbell. This one, a rep release and Campbell is looking for a call and they don't get it back the other way. There's a shot to the goal, trying to get to it. It's going to be Newcomb. Here's another look at it as Campbell rings one off the post. Let's take a look here at where the stick of the Eagles player got into Campbell at as it's Saboka. That, that's got to be a hold. That's, I, I'm not sure how that's not a hold. He wraps his free arm around Ross Campbell and the stick. It's like a bear hugging on Campbell. There's one arm. There's the second. This, this one, a goal mouth pass. And Hughes just couldn't handle it. The net was open on that low glove side. Hughes again now. Here's Cole Huckins stepping back in. Fires a shot. Save made under the pad of the goal tenor. Out telescoping out off that blocker side is going to be, again, the goal tenor, Jacob Malola. How about that opportunity by Simon Hughes there, just missing, and then Cole Huckins picks up the flip pass, walks in. A good job there, but in like a vet right yeah, now. Yeah, he's not playing like a rookie. He hasn't all season long. Terrific uh, draft pick for the 
Cape Breton Eagles. We were tied at three last night. In front, there's a shot, scores! Islanders, Will Shields! Two point after noon for Will Shields. He comes back to haunt the Eagles here right now. This one fed off in front, beaten to the glove side. Isles lead in the game for the first time, 2-1. So Butler with a multi-point game as well. But again, Will Shields, he's got a great shot. He can set the play up as well. But him, Butler, Micho, all 17 years of age, back the other way. McDonald with the goal. This one stopped again on that stick sock. From the stick side, drawn back for Sabolka, wide right side. Squires, middle point. Sabolka snaps the shot, scores! And Sabolka fires one about a foot off the ice, low glove side. And again, there's a bit of a train wreck off in front. And we've got Bickle not being able to see it. That hits net 2 2 on the board. Well, if you're the Eagles, you know what to do, George. Get bodies in front. It's Sabolka, a big time pickup for the Eagles at the deadline. Kyle Powers trying to win it. Hood draws it back high to the right point. Center point for Sabolka. Back for Hood. Toe drag. Fires in front. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. This one, great reaction, reflex save made by Carter Bickle. A carom and the five hole was open and the big squeeze was put on. He's staying uh, hot here and Michel trying to box out Waugh, but Waugh does a good job of getting that stick hand open. In front, oh, rung off the post, Hood with a quick wrister there. As again, flip towards the goal. They'll survive the uh, penalty kill. Isles 0 for 2 on the manpower advantage. Now coming off the backside, there's Conrad down low. In front, and the puck is there off the goal line. Still loose, goal scoring scrabble, and the Isles cannot get to it. Oh, this is a good uh, gear up for sure, George. As Simon Hughes, here's another look at him. Right after the man advantage, Shields goes to his line mate. Just couldn't get it in, so Boca ties him up. And then it's Lavalle, one of the heroes from last game, sweeping that puck away. Look at Simon, just missing that one there. Back for Kiersey, snaps his shot off the stick of the goal, hit right off in front. Cool mouth pass. Hiles not there to connect on that one. Here's Hawkins again, right off in front. Pinch save made, beauty save made there. Again, puck is loose, another opportunity trying to pound it home. It's going to be Ross Campbell, but just too much traffic off in front. What a sequence there. Fullerton lays the body on the line and is able to block it somehow. And how about that save by Meloda on Michael Horth? <laughs> this puck now is loosened back up again and trying to get it out. It's going to be Cape Breton now bringing the puck back in again. Newcomb shorthanded, fires. Oh, this one gets through the goaltender, then trickles wide on the stick side as Cape Breton almost had their second lead. That and that's a puck luck there. Yep, Here for comes sure. uh, Zach Bigger. He's, uh, he's going to drill it back in again. And the Charlottetown Islanders and the Cape Breton Eagles, six straight periods. Top end entertainment here. 4 3 last night. Well, we've been talking about it all broadcast, George. It's always a close battle between these two teams. Oh. Yeah, but he'll be beaten by the uh, more gifted skater there. That will be Newcomb. Back we go the other way, three on one. Here's Sabolka stepping in, stepping off. Oh, pen save made. This one off the top of the left pen. Charlottetown will bring it back. Here comes the island, hit off the right side. Three on one. Here's Horth, it's a drive. Rebound comes. Five hole save made off the goal. Oh, that's back to back action right there. Two big saves, one at each end as Carter Bickle up first. Uh, letting us know that he's still in the game. And back the other way, Morneau to Horth, back to Gio. And Melota comes over and will absorb that one here as both teams guns the blazing. Okay, Squires on a breakaway. Showtime it is, and the goal scores! Cam Squires! What a way to end it. Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what, it was Squires... From the blue line in, draws Bickle down. You cannot give Cam Squires any day like this one. Again, is going to be one in the overtime as Squires in the forehand draws it to the backhand and will win it.